Welcome everybody, this is Tractor Shoot here, representing another great game of StarCraft 2, what could possibly be the best StarCraft game you've ever seen in your life. We do have spawning in, in the upper right hand corner, Jadala, representing blue Protoss. In the bottom left, we have red Protoss, Firewalker, representing Team Copper, and he is red, probably fitting as his name is Firewalker. Let me speed this up to a double time so we can see these probes get to work. Here we go here. We are chrono boosting out probes already. We are not fooling around here. This guy's like, I'm going to stand here for a little bit till you tell me what to do. Now going to put up that pylon. We are getting a scout out of the bottom left Protoss Firewalker. He has decided, you know what, scouting might be the way to go. Blue's like, you know, I don't need to scout. I'm going to blindly figure out what you're going to do and counter it. All right. He is going to scout all the way around the base, possibly... Nope, nobody wants to chase him around. So he's going to stand there. Could see a pylon go up here. Or maybe just enjoys the satellite and is getting TV within his little comfy robot suit. You ever wonder that? Possibly. Let's slow this down. See? He could have a TV built right in there. He could possibly be watching the baseball game right now. Possibly the basketball playoffs or the hockey playoffs. Who knows? We will never know. But you ever think that probe seemed to be pretty high tech? Seemed not the coolest shit. So who knows? And here we go here. We are now getting a cyber core out and a gateway at the other end. We are mimicking with a gateway and a cyber core. We do have the double gas up already. And we are getting a little bit of chase happening on this probe now. This probe is going to run around the back line for a little bit here. Going to do maybe a little bit of annoyance possibly. Yes, he is going to drop down a pylon. And now he will probably leave and go back home unless he is planning on putting cannons down. But without a forge, just not really going to work now, is it? And we do have him just hanging around here. Possibly maybe get some warp gate technology, warp some units in the base. But no, he has cancelled that pylon. Very smart. Very, very smart by Team Red Firewalker. He is one smart guy or girl. Who knows? But he is one smart person. Let's go with that. And if we go back down here, he is doing nothing overly exciting. Not researching anything. Just mining, saving up money. He does have 580 in the bank. So, very not paying attention, probably paying attention to his probe who is down here. Probe is going to probably drop a pylon. Other than that, if not, it does like the view from up there. Viewing over the cliffs of the icy shade. And you know what they say. If you're by the crystal, you're in the shade. You see over the mountain. Don't let the duck out. All right. Now we're going to go back up to the blue Protoss. Blue Protoss has brought out another gateway. He is going to rock two gateways. Going to get warp gate technology. Warp gate technology at about the same time as the red Firewalker player as well. Firewalker is going to ride on one gate so far. He has the second gate slowly coming up in the background here. We also have the same build over here. It's almost like they are mirror images of each other. All right, we do have a mothership core. He's going to do a little bit of mothership core harass here. This is a very brilliant move and tends to work quite often there against lower level players. Both these guys are silver in case I didn't mention that already. He is set to drop two proxy pylons down at the bottom of the base here. And he will now get some vision up top here and see what he wants to do. He has decided that he is just going to chill and do nothing. We did get a pylon drop down here, so he will have the proxy ability if he chooses to do so. Uh, this probe is scouting around, making sure nobody is expanding anywhere and nobody is getting out of hand. We do have the both proxy pylons going down here, so more than likely he will warp in some units and go up for an attack, which would be the smartest thing for him to do. And you heard that from me, so you can believe it's real. That probe is sitting between the two pylons. That way he accesses the electricity, which enables the warp in to work much quicker. Very smart and only for advanced Silver League players. Anybody listening out there, you may want to use that move. All right, we do have the probe making sure nobody is in the middle. He does have the pylon up here. The mothership core is in position in case anybody does come up that ramp. And... We kind of have a stalemate, but we are getting out some more buildings here. We do have a Dark Shrine. We are going to get some sneaky moves coming in here. A Dark Shrine and a Forge going up here. So he is ready to warp that in here. On the other end, he is just going to run off four gate technology. We should see a pretty quick warp in here, I would imagine. Once those warp gates open up, we do have two sentries that will enable him to set up some shields in there or use a force field, but more than likely shield the ramp. Um, and he will actually need to do so right here, right now. 
So let's see if the sentries are ready here. He does have a lot of stalkers coming in the base and very good shield has trapped two of them up there. Does not have the forces to take them down. Unfortunately, will warp them in though. He will need to get a second shield up there. Otherwise, this could be big trouble for our Firewalker player. This is not looking good. All six stalkers are up there now. This is not looking good. We should see a GG, but he does use the super move. I don't remember what it's called, but he used it on top of the Nexus and it makes it into a fire breathing shooting cannon and this does not look good as i don't know if this is going to do it for him but that does do a lot of damage and is slowly taking out these stalkers we are seeing this beat him down here i'm not too sure what is going to happen here as he is losing stalkers he does have a dt out wait wait he has a dt okay we do have a little bit of hope here now firewalker what he gets a gg what is going on here gg out of jadala you gotta be kidding me jadala you can't do it he has given up due to the dark templar what is going on? I don't know if he was GGing Firewalker. I think he was GGing Firewalker, but then realizes he was done. Wow. One Firewalk, one, one Dark Templar was enough to change the whole game. That is something else. Firewalker representing Team Copper, getting a win under the belt. Good for him. You guys be good. Don't hurt nobody. Peace out.